video on like just doing the airsoft guns. Like what I mean by doing the airsoft guns, like shooting at targets, seeing the accuracy, seeing the power, um, just relatively how good they are. Um, I'm gonna be using the really cheap sniper that I got, my 300 feet per second uh, pistol. I'm also gonna be using the, um, what is it called? The, my little brother's um, $10 spring submachine gun. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I think that one goes around 230. My uh, sniper goes around 250. Um, these are all, of course, with 12 gram BBs, because I'll get bigger gram BBs when I am not using them on these guns. Um, I'm gonna be using protective eye gear. I'm not really gonna be talking much in this video out there, because I don't want to disturb the people, our neighbors that are working in their yard right now. So I'm going to put on my safety goggles, head out there. My, um, break the yard too, but not in the video, just maybe before I go out there and do it. And I hope you like my new tripod. I like it a lot because I can just, it's really steady. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go out there and have eye safety goggles and test all those guns and maybe even use one of the pistols to see if I can see it. Like the cheap pistols are really cheap ones, see if they will work. It's actually really cold out right now, so that's why I'm wearing a coat. I'm not just weird. Um, so, see you guys when I get out there. So, um, this one will be the strength test. First, we are starting off with my little brother's SMG. Um, $10. Let's hope this does good. I'm going to put, I'm going to do three bullets. I've never shot with this gun. Three bullets with every gun. So this is my pistol, $30 at Dick's Sporting Goods. These ones are actually not worth your money usually. I believe I put two in. Yeah. This is my cheap sniper, $3 sniper. Stop bolting in there. Okay, so I'm gonna go check out the damage. So I saw that the first gun, which was my little brother's, first gun, I'm not sure, oh, found it. So the first gun put in this and one of, like this one or this one. And then my gun put in these, these two or these two, I'm not sure. And then the sniper, which just kept on like, just just rolled off the board usually. Oh, actually no, it did that one too. So Gabe, that's something you just did. This one or this one, not sure. But the sniper did this and that. So, and then my pistol, obviously you can see did that and that or that and that. I'm not sure which one. But obviously you can see, pistol is a clear winner. And. Time to do the accuracy test. I'll just do it. Let's actually just do the same thing. And now I'll do it with cans. Okay, so I'll be right back when I have the accuracy test ready. For the accuracy test, uh, I'm going to see how many bullets it takes to hit the can every gun. This is the sniper. So, let's see. First try. Let me hit it again.
my second try and my third try, I think. So let me go set this back up for another one. So, geez. For the next one, I think I'm going to do the SMGs, my little bit of SMGs. And This one's not very good to end with. But it is really easy to do, you know. So let's think that. Wow. I don't know how to end one, see. I think that might have hit it. But I have to take a shade. Yeah, so sub-18 is definitely losing so far. I'm gonna go to my pistol. Let it pack for a while. Okay, so I'm not sure if the, the um, sniper or the pistol is the winner. The pistol is quite a bit faster though. So I'm going to say that the sniper is the winner for that one because, I mean, the scope really did help. So I'll go, I'll go to the, like, how I think the gun should be rated. So see you guys in the next clip. So... For the overall, for the price, I think the sniper is the best, but like the best gun to be like using for short range, I think the pistol is the best, definitely. Um, by the way, never, never play without prote protection from your eyes. Even though you might think they're not very fast, it doesn't matter. Sometimes they, it's, it's, you might think you're going to be able to like dodge it or something or you don't you don't have to worry about it because it's like not you don't you think it's not a high chance but it's a really big occurrence to be hit by bb so um if you are gonna try like this stuff at home um do it with goggles and if you're my age do it with adult supervision my mom is currently inside um but I hope you liked the video, so I think the submachine guns last for, I know it is $10, so I gotta give it a break there, but it was like, it did win, like it it, it beat the sniper in the first one, but I, I don't think that was cause it was like, I think it was cause I was hitting in the bottom more. The bottom's weaker than the top cause it's thinner cardboard, so. Um, so the overall winner, I think, is the sniper because twenty dollars you can't beat this. Come on, it's pretty sick. And then, like, if I weren't going on price, uh, the pistol would be the winner. But I'm going on all around, all the factors all around. Um, by the way, I hope you guys like my new tripod. Um, as I was talking about it in the last video. I feel like it's a lot more stable and you guys can really see what's going on better. Um, so, I hope you guys liked the video. See you guys next time. Like and subscribe. As always, go check out my friend Bubba Collects. I linked him in the last video. Um, he's awesome if you like Pokemon cards. Um, so, see you guys next time. Bye.